Good evening and welcome to a video demonstration of um, Easy Root rooting a Motorola Droid, you can see here Droid 1, running Android 2.2 Froyo. Uh, to begin with, let's go ahead and go to About Phone just to show you that. You can see there we go, Android 2.2 build, this is the FRG01B build. And we're going to go in and you can see couple apps installed but there's no super user permissions um, anything like that and uh, as a test we're gonna use DroCap just because I think it's fun so DroCap should uh, require root we shake it to, oh failed to execute no root privileges so no screenshots for you but thankfully we have easy root so you get the standard welcome and a uh, little warning screen we hit the I agree button you can see it's uh, prepping root for Moto Droid and I know my camera's not showing it well, but that's the root me button. <clears throat> and there it is. We are rooting your phone. And congrats. Your phone's rooted. All you got to do is do a real quick reboot. So we're going to go ahead and power the phone down like it asked us to. This is actually the longest part of the process. Powering the phone down and powering it back up. Sorry about that there. Now we're going to go ahead and power back up. There we go. Sorry, I'm right-handed and trying to do this whole demonstration left-handed. So we're going to come back up and uh, what we should notice is, of course, now that we have the super user permissions application, uh, kind of the gatekeeper for applications trying to uh, gain root privileges. And we should be able to uh, utilize DroCap and take a beautiful screenshot. And then I've also got ROM Manager already installed on this guy as well. Uh, just to give you another an example of like flashing a flashing new recovery partition or some things like that. Something a little more advanced, I guess, than the uh, than the simple task of taking a screenshot. Right now, it says preparing the SD card up top. There, you can kind of see that. And this is an activated phone. My Droid X is my day-to-day -day phone. But here we are. We're right back where we were. <clears throat> and to start, let's go with, um, let's look at super user permissions is there. Now you can see. Oh, how sad. Nothing has permissions yet. <laughs> so let's go ahead and launch DroCap again. So this time, and give her a shake. And you can see the first time it asks us, do we want to give this thing super user permissions and yes we do so there we go you got the notification up top that we have a new screenshot and give the gallery just a second here and there is our beautiful screenshot that we just took you can see right there so DroCap of course is working beautifully um, now if we go into easy root we get the same welcome I agree screen and now you're already rooted so you come back here, and again, you can't see it really well, sorry, with my camera, I think, at the moment, but that button right there is the unroot button, which I'll show you in a moment. And then we have a couple of recommendations just of, you know, BusyBox and DroCap and Wi-Fi Tether and um, ROM Manager as some recommended possible apps you might give a try. So let's go ahead and go into ROM Manager as an example. And let's go ahead and show... Oh, error while downloading. Uh, that's right, sorry. This phone isn't on my home Wi-Fi at the moment. So I uh, can't show you that, sorry. But uh, you already saw DrawCap, so you saw a root application already up and running. But let's go back to easy root now, and um, let me show you the unroot option. This is something that a lot of people were asking for, obviously, so when they take it back to Verizon, if they have a problem or selling it or whatever, you simply click the unroot button, and it's going to ask for, of course, super user permissions to do this. You hit allow and it's done. Uh, it takes you back to the standard root me screen. Um, you might want to reboot at this time. Um, I don't know that it's necessary, but just to give you an example, again, we're gonna keep using DroCap as our example. And, oh, let's hop out, shake, and fail to execute. So we have successfully unrooted. If you uninstall the app at that point, you can take it back and there'll be no evidence of the fact that you ever rooted your pretty Little droid running Android 2.2 Froyo. So there you go. We have 2.2. We have root. This is easy root. It's on the market. Go get it now.